package falls in. Awesome. And next up, he's a poet, he's a painter, he's got a book length book, a book length book, a poem, a book length poem about Herbert Hunky. I think that's just like really freaking cool, man. Rick Mullen. I love this kind of stool. Yeah. <laughs> How low can you go? Here we go. <clears throat> if what you want is fire, what you need is wood. The chemical reaction bit you have the very world has gone to seed, and all of it awaits your match. Indeed, the universe is waiting to be lit. If what you want is fire, what you need is air. So tap the throttle, let it bleed, be ready for the atom to get split. You have the very world. It's gone to seed. But that means all the radicals are freed. And that means no one really gives a shit. If what you want is fire, what you need is time to burn, to pray the goner's creed, the red ink math and promise on that shit you have. The very world has gone to seed, and all you hold is sulfur. You can feed that to the fodder at the bottom of the pit. If what you want is fire, what you need, you have. The very world has gone to see it. On the beginning of constant memory. In this photograph, Haile Selassie is pictured mourning beside de Gaulle. Here is the assassin as a bullet rips through his viscera. The captions pit communist nations against the free under the black and white stills from Zabruder's renowned Super 8 beneath the world famous mugshot under that black, swollen eye. I remember when I came across the vice president, shocked at the loss he conveyed. Magazine cameras anticipate dire proceedings, but Jesus, the gall! And with the blood-spattered Jacqueline still in her free-fall nightgown, or on it, or vice versa. Daddy was smoking a vice wall. Lucy was singing, and I, 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 I had a look at the future, I'd say, in the radio-free New Jersey of late November. I could see Lassie running in circles, no longer saving the day. Good gal. Good, Lassie. Sit, Lassie. Stay. She came. I saw. We ate. <laughs> Somewhere in the raiment of morning, we radiate. I came up like Kodachrome felt on a scout screen visor, a haircut unbuttered like the itinerant Gaul with his blue eyes pleading, Rasta far I, jog, guide, and praise in the name of the most I, Selassie. John ja know me, Ja free I and I. The leaves turn in the fall. And in radioactive free Pennsylvania, a river revisits Route 78 to New York. I am there. In the high, humble aspect of Haile Selassie, I enter upon the romantic and epic viz era of trial and error, 
I marry, and honeymoon round Donegal. And one day I opened my eyes in a taxi from Charles de Gaulle en route to a three-star hotel in the Rue Geoffroy saint hélène I circled the Eiffel Tower and followed the river to Henri IV in the duotone manner of dying at eight on a cloud-bit Saturday morning in Paris. My driver, Cicero, stops at the Tuileries Carousel as he touches the mirror, he brings to mind Haile Selassie, who stood with de Gaulle in a picture in Life magazine, the novice Ra or Le Roi Soleil, sent to free Babylon. He is eight lions rampant, a chalice and crown in the all-seeing eye. This happened to be from uh, a new collection of mine called Coelacanth, and I do have copies, but really, the big item tonight is the understanding between foxes and light. Thanks right. yeah, so thanks. much to the editors for inviting us all in. And I'll close with my poem in, in, the, in the anthology. Star Trek for Bertie Jaworski. Like it or not, we are probably trapped in our solar system for a long, long time. Adam Frank. I know a woman in New Mexico whose two young sons live mostly in between the stars, exploring in a theater of rolling planets, traveling at a speed that doesn't register in time and space. Their map is coloring an evening sky that promises to tell the earth a story in a scheme of light, the beam of Lorelei, a blessing from the mountain's Vulcan hand. She hears their voices on a muted channel in a hard-won silence of the porch at night. A fever line divides her cobalt screen. I know a woman in New Mexico whose boys are simply there, between the stars. Uh, Elizabeth, I want you to tell your father that I read a Star Trek poem, OK? Because he, he would think that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Rick Mullen. Yeah. I'm doing the Star Trek salute. Took me a long time to learn that. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Awesome.